What's up everybody? So today I'm down I'm heading to the Bunking Kong market for a very important mission. A mission that's long overdue. I need to get another pair of Converse shoes, guys. The last pair of Converse shoes I uh, bought were uh, in Vietnam when I was in uh, Hanoi. And those shoes lasted me through my whole trip of Vietnam, back here in Cambodia, and into the US. Um, but they're getting kind of old, guys. They're getting kind of rough. So I need, I'm back here at the Sabang and Gong Market. However, I'm not sure if the infamous uh, um, Converse auntie, the Shui, is here. I don't think she even sells here anymore. Um, but let's go find let's go find a place that has the Converse shoes, anyways. So, and maybe get some. Uh, I don't know. Maybe get some clothes too. Let's see. YouTuber. Yes, YouTuber, long subscriber. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go find the. Uh, I'll follow you. I'm going to Pong Spoon. There you go, guys. That's why I've been avoiding these markets because uh, right when I come in, they already know what I'm up to. Especially since they, I used to do pranks and stuff in these markets. And so uh, a lot of times they know what I'm up to, but it's okay. Maybe here. The thing is, is I would feel bad if my shoe auntie was still here and I didn't go. She would be over here, like over here somewhere. But I don't think so. Her shop is over here. No, she changed shops. But then, uh, then she got sick, which is unfortunate. And then she told me she wasn't selling, so. I don't know. I think what we'll do is... Just, you know, anywhere you can buy them. Yeah. Anyways, have a large selection of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> what about these ones? Are these second hand? Yeah. These <laughs> aren't. This is second hand, second hand. The one that's not second hand. Afterwards, guys, maybe we can go and get a bite to eat here. Uh, I guess like all markets, there's also the food courts. She retired. Yeah, sad. So unfortunately, guys, the Converse auntie, she did retire. Um, so I guess I'll, this will be my new uh, Converse auntie if they're good quality. We'll see first. They don't have the the, um, the high tops, so they only have the low tops. So I'm gonna see the blacks, I'm gonna see the whites, and if they're good quality, then maybe she will be my new uh, Converse Auntie at 122. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I just need to go and yeah, see it's like looks weird. No. Too small. Bong sun side by maybe side by or side one. Okay, so I think, yeah, quality just uh, the quality doesn't seem like then, then take only one and you look so, uh, 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 Alright guys, we're gonna finish finding the shoes and then we'll come to a conclusion and then maybe we can go eat something here. You hungry? Oh, okay. okay, got the Converse guys. I was hoping they had like the uh, the high tops, but it's okay. Now let's go to the uh, the Bunking Kong One food market.
What do you want to eat, babe? Don't you make You hurt though? I know what you want though. You want like stuff like this, right? You don't. Long yam ni. They have say kwa I think so. So say kwa ni. Ooh, my favorite. Long yam no 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 no. Yeah, you show me your say kwa ni. Ni ke? Yeah, your name. Your name. Your. Your. Strong. Say chu. Yeah. Were you strapped in that okay ang or what? We got some cuttlefish. Let's see what they got guys. We got the the seafood, we got the, the chicken, the pork, we got the crab, the chong, we got for the uh boklahong. Uh, for me, Macquarie. You haven't had the true uh, Cambodian market experience until you come and uh, eat at the uh, at the food uh, courts here. So let's check out the shoes. Here we go. Here's the uh, the Converse shoes. Not the best quality, to be honest, guys. Not as bad. Not as good as the uh, my Converse auntie. I really miss her. But here, ten dollars. For the low top Converse, my she's going to Thailand in a couple days, so she said she's just going to buy me a pair. The pickled chicken, chig mon, chig thia. Which one do you like more, the chig mon, chig thia? I think I like chig thia more. Really? Yeah. Have you ever tried? No, but I really don't want to. I can. I know what it's going to feel and taste like. Just like some spicy gelatinous. Yeah, so Yes, we also ordered a uh, deep fried uh, balut, deep fried baby duck fetus egg. So that'll be interesting as well. There. I like uh, this one that you made. That's what they gave me for free? Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought they gave me the whole dish for free. So they gave me this for free. Wow. I kept, I kept looking for phone food, as you say. And I see this. Okay. Oh, they have an egg. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. I've never had the uh, the deep fried where uh, deep fried balut. So here we go. What should I dip it with? Here's the deep fried balut. Get this chunk right here. I think I'll enjoy this one better than the uh, the egg one. Yeah. Still has that bluey taste, but it's it's kind of better than the um, just like out of the egg. Deep fried, it's kind of good. Is it good? Here's the name. I haven't tried it yet. Which one should I dip it with? Nothing. No, no. It's weird. Yeah. It's not like the one that we eat before and sour. Mm. Maybe it make like mint as sour. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. It's not like the one. Really? It's like a mini phong tia code? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, this is a quail egg balut. Quail balut. Damn. Alright, let's try this quail balut, guys. First time. Yeah. Yeah. This, this. Uh, this one, yeah. Have you ever had quail balloon? Yeah. Is it easier to eat than the big one? Yeah. <laughs> I have to be honest, I like the quail balloon more. Way better. Yeah. Imagine ostrich egg balloon. Imagine that, guys. I wonder if there's a, uh, a video out on YouTube of someone eating the largest balloon, ostrich egg balloon. If there is, uh, cause you like those eggs are huge, right? Wow. If you, uh, know that, oh crap, I forgot about the book at home. Food just keeps coming and coming, guys. There we go. You are the, the book at home connoisseur, babe. Rate this book at home at the Bangkok one market, be honest. I mean, it's okay for those who like sweet, but for me, it's too sweet. They added too much sugar. Yeah. All right, and the last uh, dish, which I didn't want, but Maya always wants to order for me, is the Kung uh, Ang, right? Mm. The thing about eggs, guys, is like the, I'm very um, picky with eggs. That's why balut kind of grosses me out, and also this Kung Muan Ang thing also kind of grosses me out because I need my eggs to be cooked. They need to be done. Um, but yeah, what are you mixing it with? Huh? What are you mixing this with? Mm. All right, now the final uh, segment of these videos with me and Mai at the market is we're gonna guess how much this costs. So I'm gonna guess. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna say woman be born. Wait. So I'm saying I'm saying eleven dollars and seventy five cents, yeah. My she knows I'm like very close, that's why. I say it less. Okay, you tell me. Like, um, around 30,000. Around. By men? Oh. By men. No, you know, you, you have to give me a specific number because that could be anything. No, I, I say less than 10. Okay, though, got low in Oh, no, you got low and let's see who uh, <coughs> who's the correct one. By the way, fasting one. I'm so close though. One man fall. Two mic. You you guess not two mic. I say less than ten, and you'll be like almost fifty thousand. Yeah, congratulations! You got the correct guess. Now you get to pay. Ha ha ha. Free lunch for me, anyways. So. All right, there you go, guys. So I'm, I got my Converse. Uh, there is a supercar rally coming to Cambodia, the Gumball 3000. Uh, they're gonna be in Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be covering the one here in Phnom Penh as well as the one in Siem Reap as well. So yeah. Also, you guys have been slacking on buying me beer. I haven't had a beer in forever. So go to my Kofi link in the description below, guys, and please buy me a beer. And I'll shout you out. Or buy you sting. Or buy me sting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Da. And that's it, guys, for the Sa Bunking Gong lunch. 
Uh, it came all to about eight dollars, right? Eight dollars, nine dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Nine dollars for all of that, which is crazy. Uh, but I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Till next one. I love you all, and uh, yeah, bye bye.